Thank you so, so much for being here. Little quick announcement that um, Thanksgiving class is on me. So make sure that you sign up for the Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving class. It will only be on Zoom because I plan on staying home, um, but uh, feel free to sign up for our Thanksgiving class. I'm sure Josh will be singing with me and I don't know, holiday classes I always make a little crazier. So please join us and really my gratitude and thank you so much for um, everything that you do during this time and especially for staying connected to us. It means everything to me, truly everything to me. So I would like, Josh? No. Uh, thank you, thank you. Um, I would like for you to find a way to lie on your back, either if you have a bolster at home or if you have two blocks, you could put one behind the heart and one behind your head. Um, if you have a bolster, just lay it lengthwise and place it behind you. Is anybody new to me today? Okay, good. Some of your what's written on underneath you, I can't quite figure out. So, okay, good. So either a block underneath. So make sure if you're doing a block underneath the back of your heart, that you have one behind your heart, one behind your head. Hi. And if you have a bolster, just place it lengthwise. If you have a blanket, just roll it and put it behind. So the idea is that your heart is lifting and your arms are dropping open. And maybe if you'd like to bring the soles of your feet together. So Veronica is doing the two block thing. So if you wanna, if you don't know what I mean, you could take a look at Veronica, she's highlighted for you. Uh, Veronica, come on up for one second so they can see how the blocks are. So there's two blocks, one behind the heart, one behind the head. And then as she lays back on these two blocks, it's gonna give her a nice lift. Good, and again, if you don't have blocks, feel free to put a blanket underneath your spine, soles of your feet together if that feels good. Any variation, and, and if you have absolutely nothing that you can put behind you, uh, just lie on your back, bring the soles of your feet together. Great. Your body is made of an explosion of stars. Feel that. Your body is made of an explosion of stars. which creates vortexes of joy and peace that you can always walk into. And it is what brings life to your life. It is the knowledge that you are galaxies. It is the knowledge that you are explosion of stars. And without this knowledge, we walk through this human existence as less than or not enough. Rumi has this wonderful saying, it says, kneel and kiss the ground for it brings life to our life. Or reach up to grab the stars that are already you. bow your head and become that womb, that tiniest being. And then at the same time, know that your spirals of the galaxies always beginning. And what supports our lives is this knowledge, this joy that is always spiraling back into the center and feeding the center of our existence. So as you're here, breathe into your back body and specifically breathe into your kidneys. 
Your kidneys hold that life essence as does all the other cells of your body for sure. One of the things that your kidneys is so powerful in doing is feeding your heart and your nervous system. And the kidneys are also known to support and hold grief. Allison, take that block higher behind your heart. Yeah, and then if you don't have one behind your head, you can clasp your hands behind your head. Yeah. Good, take about three more breaths here. Breathing into your kidneys, breathing into your heart, breathing into your lungs. Generating the opportunity for the nervous system to truly relax. And it relaxes so much when your mind connects to you being the explosion of a trillion stars. When you connect yourself to the cosmos and to the galaxies and to all the levels of beingness, you relax into that, you have the knowingness of that, then your nervous system relaxes almost just by itself because the knowledge is so vast, you are so big. Good, inhale, begin to bring those knees back together. Roll over to the side and come into child's pose, please. Once you arrive in child's pose, make little fists with your hands and beat on your low back into your kidneys. And then allow your arms to release alongside the body. Settle in. Think of all of the internal spirals that are within you. Think of all the cellular energy, all of your cells of your body being the Atman, being that vast self with a capital S. Until we truly embrace this part of who we are, we live in a very narrow world. Until we embrace the bigness of who we are, even if it's like, um, even if it's a pinpoint, you know, uh, look in, portal in, even if it's so small, it's, it's great because it's the beginning of knowing who we truly are. Come on up to sit, cross-legged seat. Maybe flex your feet. And then again, bring your awareness to the back body and to the kidneys and root the bottom part of the bottom tip of the kidneys down toward the floor which will probably make you sink back a little bit. From that place of grounding, lift through your heart. Bottom tips of your kidneys, reach them down to the floor. And then from the heart, lift up. Bring your hands to your heart center. Inhale for the sound of Om, deep breath in. Om. Put your eyes open, inhale your arms up to the sky. And then twist to your right side, bringing your right hand behind you, left hand onto your right knee. And then tuck your chin into your chest and round and curl back into those kidneys. And then lift your chest and twist just a little bit deeper. And then pay, take your left ribs and move them just a little bit over to the left so you're widening yourself, widening. Still twisting to the right. 
Take your right hand up to the sky and side stretch to the left. Tuck your chin into your chest, curl back, bring your ribs in. Now let your right hand drop down to your left knee. Drop your chin to your chest and curl in completely. That's it, Susan, nice. Inhale the arms up to the sky. A twist in the opposite direction. Right hand onto left knee, left fingertips behind you. And then round your back, curl into your back body. Good, from this, you'll feel that lowest part of the kidneys move down. Now lift your chest up and twist a little bit more. And then push into your right rib cage as you breathe there. Inhale your left arm to the sky and side stretch. Tuck your chin into your chest and round. Nice, Dana. And then push your chest forward to keep your back body full. And then drop your left hand down to your right knee and curl in, round your back. Good, from here, your left elbow is on top of your right. Just lift your elbows up and come into Garudasana arms. And then do little circles here. Go the opposite direction. And then inhale the elbows up, look up. Exhale, bring the elbows in towards the navel, pull in round. And then sweep the arms out and up and let the right elbow come on top of the left, just switch and little circles here. Breathe so deeply. And then change the other direction. And then lift the elbows up and then squeeze the elbows in toward the navel round. And then inhale the arms out and up. Interweave your palms, press straight up. <clears throat> And then take your arms forward and curl in, chin into chest. Inhale, reach the arms out and up. And then let that hands flow back down alongside the body. Good. Come on to your hands and knees, please. Begin to cat and cow. Move your spine. Nourish your nervous system. Build your nervous system. Some of you just finished the three-day cleanse with us. And one of the things I'm getting feedback that they loved was the broth. How funny, right? Something so simple, but so nourishing. I think that's a lot of what we're asking ourselves to do. Go back to what is the simple. Breath by breath. Inhale to exhale, exhale to inhale. And let that breath flood into the cellular body. Let that breath, as you're seeing it happen, you're knowing how much it's healing. That's the beauty. Take your mind into that breath, into that body, and then press back downward facing dog. Settle in. Keep that fullness in your back body and melt your heart at the same time. Not easy. Maybe even let your mouth open a little bit. Jaw relax even more. And then step your feet up to your hands, feet to hands, bowing, deep bow. Feel that sense of the back body staying nice and full. And then sweep the arms out and up, bringing the arms up to the sky. Take a hold of that left wrist and pull to the right. 
And then swing forward. So you curl into that kidney area all the way forward and all the way to the other side. And then you'll change. You'll take a hold of your right wrist and pull it over to the left. And then come forward and round and come all the way over to the left. Swing over to the left. And then take a hold of your left wrist, pull to the right. And then come forward and round. So you're just spiraling in front of yourself. That's it, Nancy. And keep going like that. And if it's not exactly what I'm asking you to do, right? Find your own version. Find your own version. That's fine with me. Good. And then come back to center, bend your elbows, lift your chest. Good, bend your knees slightly, take your butt back just a little bit. Take the groins back, take the rib cage back, puff out those kidneys like crazy. Make sure your shins are hugging in toward each other. Good, rise all the way up with straight legs, take a baby back, bend here. And then exhale, bow forward. Inhale your left leg to the sky, standing split. Hands on blocks are nice. Point the left toes to the floor. Now bend your right knee here. That's your standing leg and move your inner right knee slightly more to the right. Good. Now with your right knee bent, take your left leg a little higher. <laughs> now straighten your standing leg. Keep that back body full, puff out those kidneys. Let your jaw relax. Bring your left foot up to meet your right foot. Bend your knees, reach your arms forward and up chair. Place your hands on your thighs and cat cow here. Steady, steady shins, hug those shins in. Feel that connection of your feet down into the earth and not only your feet touching the earth, but the earth rising up to meet your feet. Good, inhale, sweep your arms up and alongside the ears. Bend your elbows, lift your chest more, puff your kidneys wide. Rise up, straight legs, take a baby back, bend, reach up and back, keep those thighs pushing back. Bow forward, hands to the floor. Opposite leg to the sky, inhale, right leg up, point the toes to the floor. Bend your standing leg. Widen your inner knee, squeeze that shin in. Scoop that low belly surrounding your back a lot. Good, now lift your leg in the sky a little higher. Now straighten your standing leg. Relax your jaw. Inhale deeply, exhale both feet to the floor. Bend your knees, inhale your arms up. Rise up to stand, bring your hands to your heart center. Close your eyes, begin breath of fire. Inhale, exhale through the nose, pump your navel center. personal relationship that you have with the elements, fire, water, earth, air. You are an explosion of stars, galaxies. Good, exhale fully, inhale deeply. Release the arms down alongside the body. Keep your eyes closed, turn your palms face forward and feel. Let your eyes open, inhale your arms to the sky. Exhale, bow forward. Take your left leg back behind you, drop the knee, Anjanayasana, take the arms up to the sky, low lunge. 
And then interlace your hands onto your front thigh and press your front thigh forward as you pull your, your rib cage and your kidneys, that back body full. Maybe even tuck your chin here. Watch what happens into that left top thigh as well. Press that back and wide. And then from that feeling of so full in the back body, inhale your arms up to the sky. And then let your hands float behind your head and press your head back and look up. Strengthen your neck here. So the sides of the throat, let's move, the throat moves back. Inhale deeply, exhale your hands down to the floor. Lift your back knee, step your back foot in just a little bit, go straight on both legs, Parshvottanasana. Make sure your back foot is wide, not right behind your front heel. And then swish your hips left and right. And when you push your hips to the left, try to keep it as far left as it will go. When you push your hips to the right, try to keep it as far right as it will go. And then come to that center place and bow. Bow. We come into that womb-like energy tiniest of tiny. At the same time, we are the trillion stars, galaxies. How is it possible? Now see what happens when you start to turn to the right and start to turn your right foot with you to the right. So you're just like twisting toward the right as far as you can twist to the right. Turn your foot with you. Bring the foot along, front foot along. There you go. Yep. I know, I know. Come back to center, downward facing dog. Beautiful, everybody. Thanks for letting me take you on a ride. <laughs> like, I don't know where the hell she's taking me, but I'll go. Forward to plank. Lower all the way down to your belly. Rise up into cobra. Gorgeous, everybody. Downward facing dog. Really nice. Nice, Allison. Great job, everybody. Nice, Jan. <laughs> Left foot forward, please. Drop your back knee. Inhale your arms to the sky. Low lunge. Place both hands on your left thigh and press forward. Curl in, round in, chin to chest. Nice, Emily. Pull back, pull back. Like almost dramatically, right? Be dramatic here. <laughs> and then see that that right thigh is drawing back, right butt cheek is drawing back as well, even though you're digging the knee down and forward. And from there, keep the back body full. Inhale the arms up to the sky. The freedom that we have when we keep that back body so full and then bend your elbows and place your hands behind your head. So you want to go into the deep back bends, but you don't want to overarch. You want to keep that fullness and you want to keep feeding your breath to that back body. Go back, go back, go back. Lift up, lift up. Good. Hands down to the floor. Beautiful. Lift your back knee. Step your back foot in just a little bit. Go straight on both legs. Just swish your hips side to side. And then once you go to the right side, try to keep it as far right and then try to press as far left. So again, you're giving yourself space and then hug those hips in, but give space. Right? We're always doing this beautiful contraction and expansion. We contract into this human body and then we expand back out into the galaxies. We're both of them. And we unite with both of them in mind and body. We're made of the, what is that snap of the best things on earth? Earth, water, fire, air. And breathe into this back body and ignite it through the mind and the breath. See, that's the thing. Don't just breathe into it, but take your mind and breath there. And then find yourself starting to walk to the left and turn your left foot with you as you go. Feeling those outer hips, squeeze them.
And then come all the way back, downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Come forward to plank pose. Vashistasana, so use your right hand, stack your left leg on top of your right or lower your bottom knee. Take your top arm up to the sky, but then take your left arm and sweep it underneath your right rib cage. Pull it under so you can really pull those ribs down. Good. Reach it all the way back up. Nice, Roz. And then touch down plank pose. Try the other side. That was nice of me. <laughs> Try the other side. I thought we're doing at least a dozen of those damn things. Good. Inhale that right arm up. Squeeze those legs. Pull under round curl beautiful inhale reach up exhale plank pose <laughs> lower all the way down to your belly so on your belly before you come up into cobra here's something that you know and i say it all the time but i know it becomes a big aha for someone at some point is when you come up to rib up to cobra do not let your ribs push forward pull your ribs in and round into those kidneys round into the back so maybe as you lift yourself up keep your chin tucked for a moment and start to lift up with your chin tucked and your back body rounded that's it you everybody in the room beautiful and then start to explode draw your shoulders back lift your gaze up but keep that back body full yes downward facing dog beautiful good step your right foot forward and walk to your left until you come to the center of your mat turn 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 parallel your feet and bow maybe blocks are what you need here So I'm gonna try something that some of you might think you don't like it, but that's okay because your body will really appreciate it. So I want you to put your right hand underneath your face, straight arm, left arm to the sky, reach up. And we're just gonna hang out here for a little bit. And I want you to keep squeezing into your kidneys, squeezing into your liver. I want you to keep your inner thighs wide. And if you need to look down, that's fine. That's totally fine to look down, but keep reaching up. Inner right thigh wide, so don't let your hips fall. Keep your hips square. As if I had a cup of tea on your sacrum and I didn't want it to fall left or right. Keep breathing. And then release down. Relax for a moment, maybe bend your knees if you need to. Good, and then take it to the other side, please. Reach your right arm up. And again, if you would prefer to look down, that's totally fine. Sacrum balanced here, good. One of the ways to balance that sacrum is push through your left inner thigh more to the left. And then squeeze into that left back body. Left, feeling the test and squeeze. Just another breath here, really breathe deeply. And then release the hand down, relax. Maybe walk your hands forward into a nice wide legged like downward facing dog. Keep your hips lifting high and keep separating the lowest part of your belly from the tops of your thighs. Keep separating the two of those. Good, walk your hands back in. Walk to the front of your mat. Frame your front foot so you're gonna spin up your back heel and drop your back knee again, maybe a blanket underneath your back knee. And then straighten your front leg for Ardha Hanumanasana or Hanumanasana. Straighten your front leg. Come on up to that front heel. 
blocks underneath your hands are really nice here. And then bow deeply over that front leg. Disappear into yourself. I'm still reading my braiding sweet grass very slowly because I'm taking it in like a fine meal, you know, very slowly savoring it. She's talking about all of the colors that just pop out at us in nature and how the design is so perfect, how complementary colors are sitting next to each other in nature so that one is actually uh, allowing the other one to pop into your eyes. The, 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 the two colors are complementary, so you're seeing them with such beauty because they're together. Come on up, downward facing dog. And to know that nature does that on purpose. And to know that we're made on purpose. It's pretty, pretty incredible to know that our eyes, the way we see colors, how that happens forward to plank, lower all the way down to your belly. Remember, you're gonna keep your kidneys puffed as you come up into Cobra Bhujangasana. Nice, yes, great, Susan, nice, nice and slow. Good, Linda, nice, Ruchi, downward facing dog, beautiful. Good, left foot steps forward, walk to your right until you come to the center of your mat. I don't wanna do that again. Deep bow. So you can either do it the same way where your left hand stays on the floor and your right arm comes to the sky or you can reach your left hand to your outer right ankle, left hand to outer right ankle, right arm to the sky. And remind yourself that you're squeezing, that you're squeezing, that you're squeezing, internally squeezing. Jane, take that upper arm to closer towards your ear. Yes, get space in your side body, nice and. Beautiful melody, nice Diane. Breathe so powerfully here, everybody. And again, you can always look down. With your exhale, release and switch sides. Push the top of your right thigh back so it's moving away from your left thigh. And often when we take that arm to the sky, we minimize it and take it closer to the hip, take it closer to your ear, get more space. Feel again the earth beneath you. So there's this constant support. As you exhale, release the hand down and walk your hands forward to that very long dog. Some of you can even drop down to your elbows here. That might feel nice. Press your hips high to the sky. Spirals through the spinal column, through the sashumna, that central channel, the itta and the pingala, these moving energies that spiral through the chakras. Good, walking those hands back in. Walk your hands to the front of your mat. Lower your back knee. And come into half Hanuman or full Hanuman, straightening the front leg, come on up to that heel. And then bow over that leg. Drawing that heel down, pull it back.
So we find ourselves moving into those internal spirals of quite a bit of joy, which is our intrinsic nature. We find that all of those spirals, all of those energies within us are supporting that joy, that ability to live in joy. And it doesn't mean liking everything that's happening. Beautifully, everybody, really nice. Big breath in here. And as you exhale, bring your knees back onto the mat and press back into child's pose. Mentally nourishing your nervous system by watching your thoughts. We gave the offering of burning time or mugwort as a really nice cleansing and purification. My teacher, Robin Rose, also said to take powdered cinnamon to burn, to uplift, energy of uplifting. Walk your upper body to the right side of your mat. Extend through the arms. And you do wanna keep the back body full and easy to do here in child's pose, but also easy to let the rib cage just drop. So pull up. Breathe up and breathe a lot. I tend to, when I practice to ujjayi breathing throughout the whole class, it's just, it's such a natural thing for me to be doing ujjayi because it's such a sweeping of uh, cleaning the throat center. So maybe add some ujjayi breathing in. And it's also a very warming breath. Take it to the other side, walk the upper body to the other side. It also gives you the sound of the mantra, I am. So, um, I am, I am Prakriti, I am universal consciousness, I am cosmic consciousness, I am the galaxies, I am the stars. beyond this body and mind, with this body and mind. Come on up to your hands and knees and take your right arm out to the right. Onto your hands and knees, right arm out to the right and then slide your right arm underneath your left, coming into threading the needle. Make sure your hips are lifted here enough so you can press the tops of your thighs back. And even here as you're rounding, can you curl into your back body? Nice. There's something very sacred about that back body, right? It's definitely that place of we could on the most um, slightest level call it our past, right? That which we've already experienced, moved through. But also it, it does hold that place of um, where we're moving toward. So fill it with your breath, fill it with gratitude, fill it with that sacredness. We call the sacrum the sacred bone, right? Inhale, come on up and switch sides. And again, keep that back body full. Nice, really nice. How do you fulfill this energy of this body and at the same time be front in the front of with your heart? How do you keep that fullness and then project from your heart? Even your body makes it a little difficult to do it. 
metaphorically, how do we stay full and live from our heart? Not diminish. Your jaw is relaxed. Your eyes are relaxed. Inhale, come on up. And again, if you like something underneath the knees, go ahead and place that there. And I would like for you to stretch your right leg back behind you. Bring it off the floor and take your left arm out in front of you. Right leg behind you, left arm in front of you. Nice melody, nice and And then go ahead and reach back for your ankle if you can, or just place your hand on your sacrum. Now, as you're kicking that foot up into your hand, kick your kidneys up toward the ceiling as well. You gotta get the fullness in that back body. Great, Yelena. Good, and then as you release, stretch your right leg back behind you, your left arm out in front of you. Good, now lower your left hand down to the mat. Lower your right toes down to the mat, just keeping your right leg outstretched. And then send your right leg over to the left and then look over your left shoulder. Lift up, lift up. <laughs> Tendency to let it go, don't do it. Good, come back to center. Release your right knee down to the mat. Extend your left leg back behind you, right arm out in front of you. Reach back for your ankle or put your hand on your sacrum. Lift up into your back body. Breathing deeply, please. And then as you gently release, release hand forward, foot back, and then lower the left knee, left foot, excuse me, down to the mat, slide it over to your right side, look over your right shoulder. Breathe it, breathe it, breathe it. Come back to center, downward facing dog. Nice, Perry. Great, Ruchi. Robin, nice. Great, Allison. Inhale the right leg back and up behind you and bring your right knee forward for pigeon if you need to lie on your back for pigeon, please do. Squeeze your knees toward each other round your back as you walk forward, bring your forehead down to the mat. Keep curling into your back body here. It seems that we, through movies, right? We're like, wow, that's a cool concept of having all these different layers of existence. How fun is that? That's exactly what we have. That's why we meditate. That's why we connect with each other. When we disconnect from the earth, we disconnect from each other. When we disconnect from space. Very isolated. So come back to that spaciousness of yourself. Inhale, come on up, walk up. Sorry, those of you on your back, come on and roll up and come onto your hands and knees. Those of us that have our bellies facing down, I just want you to bring your left knee forward and stack it on top of your right knee. Left knee on top of right knee. Go Mukasana, left knee on top of right knee. Good, and then you have to lift your butt and send it slightly more to the right. Maybe sit up on a block or a blanket. And then flex your feet so your feet are very active. 
If this doesn't work for you, you can take your left shin in front of your right shin. And then those of you that are stacking one knee pretty well on top of the other, go ahead and walk forward and round your back. Press your sit bones back and wide and then melt down through the heart. Great. Beautiful. Inhale, come on up. Step back downward facing dog. And take it through vinyasa if you'd like. Or not. Nice. Beautiful, everybody consciousness that you bring. I am in awe. Inhale that left leg back and up behind you, down dog, split left knee forward for pigeon or lie on your back, Ekapadaraja Kapatasana. Remember if you're lying on your back, make sure you flex the feet. And then as you come forward into pigeon, keep that back rounded, please. Lifting up the rib cage, puffing out the kidneys, breathing into that back body. Come to rest in yourself. The patterns of creation exist here. We are truly astonishing. We have the resources that we need to meet the time that we're in. But not only do we need to do this with our bodies, but we need to do this together. That's why we're here together. Really nice. Go ahead and walk your hands back up. You're gonna slide your right knee on top of your left knee. So if you're lying down, just roll on up. And if that doesn't work, right shin in front of left shin will be really nice flexing your feet. Nice. Move those hip bones back. Maybe sit up on a prop, block or blanket and then walk forward as you're ready or stay upright if that won't work for you. Think of taking the base of the kidneys and reaching them down toward the earth and then lifting your heart just a little bit more. Walking yourself back in, downward facing dog. Draw down through your heels, reach up through your hips. And then step your right foot forward. Keep your knee bent. Right foot forward, take your right arm up to the sky, twist. Take your right arm over your ear, lengthen. 
Tack your right hip crease back and pull your spine long. Um, so uh, Lena and yeah, change sides. A left hand down, right arm up. There we go. Twisting, there you go. And hands down to the floor, downward facing dog. Left foot forward, left arm to the sky. Take the arm over your ear. There you go, Katrin, great. Beautiful, Kim, nice, Kathy, yeah, Jan. Reach, 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 reach. Pull that hip point back. And release down, downward facing dog. Roll forward to plank pose. Lower all the way down to your belly. Turn your cheek to the side and rest for a moment. Come into Sphinx pose, elbows underneath your shoulders, separate your feet as wide as your mat. And then slide your right arm underneath your left, right arm underneath your left, like you're threading the needle. Yep, and then roll over onto your right hip, bring your left hip on top of your right, but keep your feet nice and wide. Yeah, and then take your left arm and reach it behind you. See if you can reach it all the way back to the floor behind you. Keep going, keep going. You can let your hip come up as high as it needs to to get your head onto the floor. Your head right. Yeah. And just stretch those arms wide open, as wide open as you can go. Beautiful, everybody. Inhale, come on out back into Sphinx, keeping your legs nice and wide. Slide your left arm underneath your right. Keep your rib cage drawn in as you roll over, take your right arm up and back. That right hip, get it on top of your left hip or even a little further. And then breathe deeply. You know, whenever we have a chance to take a restorative class, take it. So healing for the nervous system. Breathing long exhales here. Inhale, come on back, downward facing dog. And then walk or jump to squat. If you cannot squat, come into chair for a moment. If you can squat, drop your hands down to the floor and drop your head. And then lower all the way down to your back, hug your knees into your chest. (laughs) 
happy baby pose, reach for your insteps. Keep your lower back, middle back, pressing into the floor. And then lift yourself up, starting to bring your arms up inside your legs. So I know that we're not doing it one at a time, but start to draw your shins in and try to bring your, your knees up toward your top of your shoulders. So you're working in slowly. It is that sleeping yogi that I'm talking about, but we have both lifted at the same time. That's it, Dana. Yeah, you guys got it. Just lift that head up. Just start working into that round, that full roundness of your body. That's it, everybody. Nice, Kathy. Yep. Just lift up, lift up, lift up. Pull the heels in, pull the shins in. And then gently release. Plant your feet down onto the floor, keeping your knees bent. And then lift your hips up, coming up into bridge, but work all this magic that you've been working with, fullness in your back body, breathing into your kidneys. Maybe clasp your hands underneath you, maybe keep your arms alongside the body. And then lower back down. Bring the soles of your feet together. Let your knees drop wide. I'm going to let the opportunity to stay here happen. And or if you'd like to come into a second back bend. It's not your second back bend of the practice, but another back bend. Come into full wheel, or you can come back into bridge, or just stay exactly where you are. Also, if you have a block, you might want to come back into a restorative bridge. And I say this all the time: if you haven't done a restorative bridge for a while, it feels so damn good. So, if you want to come into full wheel, into bridge again, maybe with a block this time. You want to come into camel? You're welcome to do that. Nice, Susan. Good, Anne. Sweet Jackie, nourishing yourself. Good Allison. Remember, if you've taken full wheel, obviously come on out when you need to. If you have your sacrum on a block, enjoy. If you do not, and you're in a uh, bridge, come on down when you need to. You can bring the soles of your feet back together. Let your knees drop open again if you'd like. And then come on off the block or whatever other variation you have, hug your knees into your chest. And I want you to roll either side to side or up and down.
If you're rolling up and down, that's a really nice little pressure that you're putting into that back body. If you're rolling side to side, same thing. And then bring yourself all the way, nice. Bring yourself all, nice, Andrew, all the way up to sit, come, coming to a comfortable cross-legged position, maybe sitting up on a blanket. We're gonna do what's called Sakari breath, which is where you're going to mingle your, sounds gross, <laughs> but mingle your saliva with your inhale. So you make your, you bring your teeth together. You inhale through the teeth. Make sure you're warm here too, because it, it is a bit of a cooling breath. You're gonna breathe in through your teeth and try to bring in saliva as you're doing that and then breathe out through your nose. And you could do a hand position, any mudra that you'd like, maybe Gyana mudra, thumb and first finger, maybe just hands down or hands up. And just begin just for a moment here, Sakari breath. You're exhaling through the nose. This is a very detoxifying breath. Very cleansing breath. Just one more minute. Your next exhale, release the breath. Just feel You can stay here or lie down on your back for Shavasana. And then again, make sure you're warm.
Your body is made of the explosion of a trillion stars. You are the spirals of the galaxies. The only thing that we've been asked to do in this lifetime is to know our true self. And along the way, love a lot. Let your body stretch and yawn in any way that serves you well. You're lying on your back, hug your knees into your chest, roll to the right side, come on up to sit. Bring your hands together at your heart center. And we'll inhale for the sound of Om. Deep breath in. Om. Sliding your hands to the space between the eyebrows. Namaste. Thank you so, so much, everybody. Don't forget Thanksgiving. Namaste. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Don't forget come Thanksgiving. Just I think you can check on online still, but it's a free class for everybody because I love you so much. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Yeah.